Hello and welcome to the part 22 of my F1 2024 season simulation. If you missed part 21, which was the Brazilian Grand Prix, make sure to check out one out before watching this video. A bit of a spoiler alert, it was the Grand Prix where both championships were won. And yeah, we, we, you would never guess which driver and which team won the championship. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back into round 22, Las Vegas Grand Prix. Um, yeah, last time, last year, 2023, we had kind of a banger in the race, especially. Qualifying was kind of kind of weird. We didn't know what to expect with the cold conditions and drivers learning a new track and basically they're winning like almost no grip. Uh, in the race, it was a similar thing, but to a lesser extent. Anyways, the race brought up a uh, pretty, pretty interesting race, one of the best races of 2023 for many people. And yeah, hopefully it can produce a banger here as well. Uh, yeah, in terms of weather, obviously Las Vegas is not really known for too much rain. Obviously 2023 had some risk of rain, but that was because of the weird timing of the year that the Vegas Grand Prix was put in. Uh, but yeah, here it's even, if it's here it's in like, wait, I think here it's even later in the year. That would mean like even colder conditions, right? Oh god, Las Vegas 2024, maybe the coldest race in Formula 1 history. Anyways, let's see the upgrades first, as we only have two teams bringing any sort of upgrades to the car in the, uh, well, start to last race, or second to last, I don't know how to say it, first, uh, three races to go, and this is the, the first of the three, so essentially, at, at the end of the season. Uh, just has a Williams bringing some of this to the car, nothing too spectac spectacular there. So, yeah, let's let's see Q1. Max Verstappen tops the session provisionally in Q1 by a uh, solid margin <laughs> 0.472 head of Fernando Alonso in P2, and it's a Leclerc P3, Sainz P4, PS3, Russell, Hamilton, Perez, or Sunoda, Norris, Ricardo, Ocon, Gasly, Hulkenberg, Stroll, and provisionally out in Q1 are Magnussen. The two Williamses, Hal Alban had of Sargent, and the two Sauber cars in the last two places. Both does had of a show. Um, yeah, uh, very similar thing to last year, at least from the first perspective, even though McLaren seems quicker and on the other hand, Ferrari seems slower relative to Red Bull, at least in Q1. Obviously, Q1 may not be entirely uh, re reflective. Even though there were no disturbances in the qualifying itself, uh, Q1, but still may not be fully representative. As we go into Q2 and Q3, you'll see just how close it could be, technically. And yeah, uh, let's see if there are any changes. So, first, there are no changes for this one. Magnussen stays in 16th, and it's Albert, Albert 17th, Sergeant 18th, Bottas 19th, and Joe in 20th. That's your. Knocked out in Q1 in Las Vegas. Let's uh, get into Q2. So we have Max Verstappen topping the session once again in Q2. This time only uh, only 0.126 uh, seconds ahead of P2, which is Carl Sainz now. Perez, P3, 0.285. Uh, close the gap to Max significantly over Q1. And it's Charles Leclerc, P4, Hamilton, Alonso, Sunona, Gasly, Russell, and Ocon winning the top 10. Uh, you can see the lack of McLaren's ass. We'll get to them a bit later. Hulkenberg, P11, and we just go to the McLaren's. That was uh, fairly early later, anyways. P12 for Oscar Piastri, uh, P13 for Ricardo, P14 to McLaren of London Norris with zero time set, as well as Norris, uh, as well as sorry, Stroll, sorry. Norris and Stroll both suffering a uh, suffering from a driver error of their own, unfortunately. Uh, bringing out a red flag from both of those crashes, which was unfortunate for the drivers, but um, yeah, it's the end of the season, it doesn't really matter, like, uh, both, championships, both championships are already sealed, it may have hurt Norris a bit in the Travers Championship as he battles Charles Leclerc for P3 at this point, but it's not like that significant anyway. Uh, PS3 P12 just shows that McLaren doesn't really have the pace anyway, I mean, Q1 was alright, but didn't really look great either there. Alpines look very, very good, even though uh, their Q2 doesn't seem as shining as Q1, for example. It's still very, very impressive. Sunoda somehow squeaks into the another qualifying session, 
uh, quite a quite a way ahead of Ricardo, for example. And the whole coverage manages to get a P11 and almost gets into the top 10. Let's see if there are any changes for the final classification and if there are no changes. Knocked out in Q2 in Las Vegas are Nico Hulkenberg, Oscar Piastri, Daniel Ricciardo, Lana Norris, and Lance Stroll. CQ3 as we have Max Verstappen once again topping another qualifying session. Here it's a provisional pole position head of Carl Sainz in P2 once again. But this time the gap is even closer. Pierre Gasly with a shocking P3 in the Alpine. Uh, then it's Perez, then it's Charles Leclerc with a very, very bad lap. Then it's uh, Lewis Hamilton in P6, Alonso P7, Russell P8, Ocon P9, uh, right away behind his teammate. And Yuki Tsunoda, fortunately, couldn't uh, produce another magic lap in Q3. Uh, yeah, interesting. Another max provisional ball position, uh, very likely that he will keep it, but let's see if there are any changes. And there are no changes, as you can see. Uh, so the only notable thing really from this qualifying is probably Gasly in V3, uh, six position ahead of Ocon and maybe Sainz, uh, destroying Leclerc in this qualifying, uh, which is weird because last year it was Charles Leclerc pretty dominant in qualifying, especially in Q3, as Sainz, I think, uh, got P2, but had a great penalty anyway, so that didn't matter at that point. Here, Carlos Sainz doesn't have a great penalty, luckily. Uh, because I pretty much <laughs> disabled them for, for this one because it would be like impossible for uh, for me to implement that in this sim in the simulation without making it too long. And uh, if I if I did uh, for the start of the season, we will probably be like like part fifteen right now. So thankfully I didn't. Anyways, uh, this is the final classification. Let's recap the grid for the Las Vegas Grand Prix. So we have Max Verstappen lining up a pole position once again this season. This time ahead of Carl Sainz in P2, it's Gasly P3, Perez P4, Charles Leclerc P5, Hamilton P6, Alonso P7, Russell P8, Ocon P9, and Yuki Tsunoda in P10. And it's Hulkenberg P11, PS3 P12, Ricardo P13, Lionel Norris P14, Lance Stroll P15, Magnussen P16, Albon P17, Sergeant P18, Bottas P19, and Guan Yu starting in last uh, for the Grand Prix. So, Las Vegas Grand Prix will produce another banger this time. As we have my extra stop and winning another Grand Prix in the simulation once again. We have fastest lap as well. Uh, and yeah, this might be like his fourth victory in a row. If, I, if I'm counting correctly, maybe maybe third or maybe only third. By, by very likely that it could be fourth already. Uh, and yeah, two Ferraris completing the podium. Science out of Leclerc. Uh, this Alonso just outside the podium P4. D2 Alpine cars, a very, very great result for for the team. Gasly in P5, Ocon P6. Lewis Hamilton only can manage a P7. P3, P8, at least some points for McLaren on the, such an underwhelming weekend so far. Uh, well, so far, uh, already over. <laughs> the weekend is already over. P9 for Lance Stroll, uh, making up six positions. Very, uh, not very, but a decent result for, for the Canadian. Perez in P10, dropping six places. That's due to a safety car that he brought up. Well, uh, not due to safety car, but uh, due to this driver that brought up a safety car. One of the safety cars. The other was brought up by George Russell, who had a mechanical failure and DNF because of it. Uh, Lando is in P11, uh, just outside the points. Uh, unfortunate. Nice to two racing wolf cars off. Ricardo had of Sunoda. P12 and P13 for them, P14 for Albon, P15 for Hulkenberg, P16 for Magnussen, P17 for Sargent, P18 for Joe, and P19 for Valtteri Bottas, the last finishing driver in this race. And like I, like I mentioned earlier, two safety cars, so it shuffled the grid uh, a bit, but it didn't, uh, didn't affect Max Verstappen seemingly as he remained in P1, the fastest lap as well. Yeah, very, very dominant end of the season for Max Verstappen. Uh, yeah, let's see how it affected the Road Drivers Championship after round 22, so two races to go after this one. Uh, Max Verstappen now almost shy, uh, almost almost at 400, just shy of 400, or however you want to call it. 398 points, 7 victories, uh, World Champion uh, from last year is already uh, 15 podiums, 10 pole positions and 17 fastest, oh, sorry, 13 fastest laps. Uh, some great statistics for Max Verstappen, but obviously the last two years were so dominant that these numbers don't look as impressive as they 
might actually be uh, pay two for so far for Atlanta, uh, for Fernando Alonso, two hundred sixty-two points for victories, eight podiums, three poles, and two fastest laps. Charles Leclerc d- jumps Lando Norris after that underwhelming weekend for McLaren. Now in P3, 240 points per victories, 5 podiums, 2 poles, and 4 fastest laps. Lionel Norris uh, drops to P4, 227 free victories, 7 podiums, 2 pole positions, and a fastest lap. Checo Perez gets only a singular point, but still, oh, sorry, uh, still remains in P5, 206 points, a victory, 6 podiums. Then it's Oscar Piastri in P6, uh, 190 points, 2 victories, 5 podiums, 3 poles, and a fastest lap. Carol Sainz jumps George Russell uh, to take uh, P7 so far in the drive championship. 183 points, a victory, six podiums, and two fastest sort of two pole positions. Actually, uh, Carlos has a, quite a lot of podiums when you want to look at that. He has more podiums than Charles Leclerc and PS3, uh, which is, yeah, a very decent season for Carlos Sainz, even though the points don't show it. It's just a very, very bad luck that Carlos had this season. Uh, George Russell drops to P8, 175 points, only four points ahead of his teammate now. Uh, victory and seven podiums for him. Uh, Lewis Hamilton catches up to his teammate, but just behind him at the moment, 171 points. Uh, sorry, 171 point victory and two podiums. And a fast slap as well. Lance Stroll in P10, 118 points. Two podiums, then it's Pierre Gasly in P11. Now, uh, now overtakes Ocon about uh, as yeah, uh, one point ahead, 64 points per Gasly and a podium. Uh, Ocon P12, 63 points, drops to P12, P13, Tsunoda, 53 points, P14, Alba, 19 points and a podium. Then it's whole camera P15, 18 points and a podium. P16 for Logan Sargent uh, with 16 points, 17 for Daniel Ricciardo. And on 50 point, 15 points, 18th for Valtteri Bottas on 5 points, 19th for Kevin Magnussen on a singular point, and the driver who is yet to score points in the simulation is Buany Joe at 0, no points. Yeah, let's see, Constructors, I already showed it on accident, uh, 604 points for Red Bull as they won the championship last weekend, uh, 8 victories, 21 podiums, that's uh, that's a very scary number. It's like a t- twice the amount of uh, the other teams now. Uh, one, 10 pole positions and 13 fastest laps. Considering the Red Bull stats were pretty much almost on par with the other teams during the half of the season, it was just, yeah, the, the this end of the season is very, very good for Red Bull as they just far stats bad at this point. Uh, yeah, Ferrari jumps McLaren in the constructor so far. That's probably the main fight that's that's here. 423 points for victories, 11 podiums, 4 poles, and 4 passive slaps. McLaren drops to P3, 417 points, so 6 points behind behind Ferrari. Uh, yeah, this, this fight could go on to the final race, perhaps. 5 victories for McLaren, 12 podiums, 5 poles, and 2 fastest slaps. Aston Martin uh, remains in P4, extend their lead over Mercedes, 380 points, for victories, 10 podiums, 3 poles, and 2 fastest laps. Mercedes remains in P5, uh, 346 points, 2 victories, 9 podiums, and a fastest lap. Alpine with a, with a nice point, uh, point grab from Las Vegas, now on 127 points, and a podium, 68 points for our Racing Bulls in P7, just, just shy of the ninth number. P8 for Williams, 35 points and a podium. P9 for Haas uh, on 19 points and a podium. And P10 for Sauber at 5 points in the last place. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, oh sorry, this is a Qatar Grand Prix, but okay, I'm, I'm very sorry. Uh, I, gotta, I gotta be honest, um, my brain's not very functional right now. I didn't sleep well and I, I had a really, really uh, a long day, let's say like that. And I already uh, made the Qatar Grand Prix, uh, well, part of, parts of it, but I, I, I will have no time to record it. It's just, there's a lot of things going on in my life right now. And I'm, I'm glad I could record this one video for today. Anyways, Qatar Grand Prix next up, the last sprint and the second, well, the penultimate race of this simulation. So yeah, uh, should come out tomorrow as well as Abu Dhabi. Uh, hopefully, uh, yeah, but that it can come out. If not, then it's going to come out just before 
testing. Well, well, testing probably starts before that. So I assume you're going to at latest get the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix after the first day of testing. Uh, hopefully sooner. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. I like the video coming out of though just how bad I sound at this, uh, and this, and this part, and uh, how my brain is not functioning. And yeah, uh, as always, see ya.